Socialism is back. Socialism is popular. 40% of under 50 approve. I'm literally a communist. But socialism hasn't worked out terribly well so far, has it? Well, for example, in the Soviet Union. That wasn't socialism. That's a straw man. Okay. Then how about China under Mao? Oh, come on. That's a cheap shot. That had nothing to do with socialism. Fair enough. But North Korea isn't exactly... Are you serious? You really don't understand socialism at all, do you? I think that you'll find that what Marx actually said was... All right, all right. But even a place like Venezuela has... You've got to be kidding. Well, now you're just being silly. Read a book. Then what would be a good example? Does this sound familiar? I bet it does. Debating socialism can be frustrating. Socialism is hugely popular as an abstract ideal. But socialists refuse to take any responsibility for real-world approximations of their ideas. And they also refuse to spell out how their version of socialism would work in practice. Instead, they escape into abstraction, fashionable sound bites, and trendy platitudes. With this in mind, it is not too surprising that socialists have not been terribly consistent over the years. In my new book, Socialism, the Failed Idea That Never Dies, I document the history of the standard excuse that this socialist system or that socialist system was somehow not real socialism. What I find is that this claim is only ever made in retrospect. It is only made when a socialist system has already been so widely discredited that it has become a liability to the socialist cause. As long as a socialist system is in its prime, almost nobody claims that that is not real socialism. On the contrary, pretty much every socialist system has gone through a honeymoon period, during which it is enthusiastically endorsed by plenty of prominent Western intellectuals. 